Hey everyone, Dan Saavedra here from MergerData.com and today we're going to be going over the top five new features for Tableau 2022.2. This new release has quite a few substantial changes that are going to impact both the developer and the end user, so let's dive right in. First big new feature is actually something that hasn't been released even though it says it has. It's called the Add Filters object and if I open it up on the new features page here, you can see that Tableau says Add Filters is an extension that will be published to the Tableau Exchange. It is not there yet, but it's going to be the most impactful feature in my opinion, and that's because it's going to reduce both the workload for developers and also give more possibilities for end users doing ad hoc analysis. Now, this Add Filter object is basically going to allow users to add in filters for any field that they want and can see on the dashboard. It's going to remove the need to go back to the developer and ask them to add on additional filters to a dashboard, so it's going to really reduce the workload of small requests that developers usually receive. So that's the first big feature in this new release. The second big feature release for this version is a brand new connector. And that connector is the SharePoint and OneDrive online new connector. So if you've been working with files that are resting on OneDrive online or SharePoint online, you're going to be able to now co connect directly to those files, run dashboards off of them and have them refreshed regularly without a bunch of hacks to make it work. So this is a really big deal because a lot of corporations are moving to the cloud environment of Microsoft and that includes using SharePoint online and OneDrive. And so this is a brand new connector that's going to enable you to use the Excel files and whatever other data source files that might be resting on those platforms. And I've connected here just to show you a little bit of a preview as to what that looks like. You can see that I can see my OneDrive personal files. I can see the OneDrive shared with me files, which I don't have anything for this account. And then I can see my SharePoint sites, which I don't think, oh, I do have a few test sites. We don't really use it, but yeah. So this is what it looks like. It's easy to connect and to find assets in OneDrive and SharePoint Online. This was nearly impossible before. There were a lot of workarounds and downsides to connecting the files on these two sources. The third new release or the third new feature for this release that's really critical is improvements to the workbook optimizer. There used to be 12 checks that were part of the workbook optimizer. Now there are 17. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot find a list of uh, which guidelines Tableau uh, added to the workbook optimizer, but there are five new ones. Uh, if you go to this documentation page, you can scroll down. They have the categories and then they'll have all of the guidelines here that Tableau is going through to make sure that your work workbook is optimized for both speed and performance for its end users. So you can scroll through these and see exactly what Tableau is checking to make sure that you're developing workbooks in the most efficient way possible. Now the fourth new feature in this release is actually not listed on the Tableau desktop new features. It's more in the Tableau cloud new features, but in my opinion, it should be in the Tableau desktop one, which is why it's included in this list. It's also ranked at number four, but we could look back in a year from now and say that this should have absolutely been the number one feature. And it actually probably deserves its own individual video to review because there's a lot to unpack there. And this new feature is called the data story. So it's a new object that you can find down in your dashboard pane here. And if I just click and drag and I'll make it floating, I'll drag this onto my dashboard and it requires your data source to be published. And as you can see, one of my worksheets on here does not have a published data source. So I'm going to have to go publish that first in order to use it. And then we're going to explore a little and talk about what the data stories feature means to users and to developers. So I've published the last data source onto server that I needed to, and now I can configure the story here. So I'm going to click on that button. And basically what's going to pop up is this new interface in order to configure a data story. Now, what is a data story? Basically a data story is an explanation of the points of data that you should be paying attention to as a user. So it'll either summarize or call out specific data points, depending on how you configure this interface here step-by-step. So 
This kind of came out of the blue for Tableau. It's really gonna help on the data literacy side because once you see exactly how it's configured and you see what the output is, it basically walks users through what they should be looking for in the data and how they can interpret it. So it really cuts down on the amount of explainers that developers need to make or meetings that need to be had in order to understand exactly what our dashboards are saying. So I'm just gonna walk through and try to configure a data story, which I've never done before, and just kind of see how easy it is and, and what that output is and then we'll try to judge a little bit more as how important as to how important this feature is so i'm just going to click through and do sales by product i'm going to click next i see these dimensions exist in here i see these measures exist in here i'll click next again choose the option that best describes your data you can see a preview in the container so let's move that over here Looks like I'll need to add a white background here to see this a little bit better. So we can see a pivoted breakdown. Let's switch it to discrete. Okay. We'll go with quant we'll go with continuous for the quantitative values over time and just click done. And I'm gonna change this to a white background so that we can see. And I'm going to expand it. Oh my. So you can see that there's a lot of text here and it's a good thing we made it floating because what I would do is I would add a button to show and hide this container for users. This is a lot of text. What I'm going to do here is move this down first of all. I'm going to click on edit and see exactly what this does. Hopefully there's a way to reduce the amount of words here. So it looks like we can hide a lot of these descriptions, which is good. So we can choose what our users are going to see. It looks like we can customize the items that are in here to a degree. You can add functions, conditions, and context. I'm going to cancel out of here. I'm gonna to go to settings instead. Perfect, and this looks like it has more features to control exactly what's put out, allow viewers to change ver verbosity. So on initial look at it seems like there's a lot to unpack here. This has the potential to be a very powerful tool to improve data literacy, data literacy in your organization, but it looks like it'll need some fine tuning in order to get this to work in a way that's not overwhelming for users. Personally, as a user, if I saw this pop up, my eyes would glaze over. I'd rather just look at the charts instead and try to deduct my own insights from it. So it looks like this can be a very powerful feature. It does look like it's also a considerable lift for developers in order to configure to correct configure it correctly i imagine you would find patterns of how you like to configure the data stories that can make this a little more streamlined but for now this is sitting at the fourth best new feature for this release because i feel like it has a lot of potential but at the same time it kind of came out of nowhere and feels a little bit like it was just thrown into the product uh because it seemed like a cool feature. Now, I'm sure Tableau has a long, long-term long plan for this that they thought out, but for me, it's not evident at this current time. And last but not least, our fifth new feature that was released in this version is the, I'll drop it on here for you to see. It's the Tableau Exchange is now embedded into Tableau Desktop. This is a big deal because before they were separate entities, you had to go out to the exchange, go find what you were looking for, and then add it in as an extension. But now it's all in one nice big package. You can just add an extension and actually search across all extensions on the exchange. The only caveat being you'll obviously have to have a license for some, and then you'll have to get approval for those extensions to be added and published online. So you'll have to have your admin involved in that process. But this makes it a lot easier in order to add extensions. It really connects the exchange, which had a lot of potential to the actual Tableau desktop application. And I'm wondering if they have accelerators on here as well. It does look like that. 
So accelerators are now embedded as well, which is a really big deal. So you can search for your accelerators directly in Tableau Desktop. So no more searching online separately, downloading it and then using it in Tableau Desktop it really streamlines that process. So hopefully these accelerators will get more downloads. As you can see, a lot of them don't have a lot of downloads. So it'll probably help with usage quite a bit. So those were the top five new features in Tableau 2022.2 Desktop for me. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any specific videos you want me to do, just let me know in the comments. Also, I run a company called MergerData.com. We do analytics as a service where we rent out uh, vetted expert data teams to people who maybe can't afford a full-time team or are looking to supplement their existing teams with some talent just that they need to fill the gaps with. It's a great way to get a lot of bang for your buck. It costs the same amount as a full-time employee, but you get access to an entire team that gets to attack a data project from all angles. So thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.